My name is Nuala and I'm here today on the banks of my local waterway. Did you know a waterway is any body of water that we can navigate? That means we can travel along its route, maybe using a boat. Waterways Ireland is the company in Ireland responsible for the management of Ireland's waterways on the island of Ireland. Now it's pretty wet and windy out here today, so I thought why not explore our waterways indoors in our classrooms? But before we get started, I want to know everything you know about a waterway. Do you know what your local waterway is? Or what it's called? Do you know any features along a waterway? Do you know why people might enjoy our local waterways? Pause this video while you have your classroom discussion, but don't forget to record your answers. Waterways Ireland is responsible for the management of over 1,000 kilometres of waterways. Do you know that there are 1,000 metres in just one kilometre? Let's explore this a little closer. As a waterway hero, if you were to walk from Mallon Head in County Donegal all the way to Kinsale in County Cork, your journey would take you over 510 kilometres. So by the time you'd walked back to Mallon Head from Kinsale, you'd have reached over 1,000 kilometres. Together, let's explore what waterways Waterways Ireland manage. The lower band is 60 kilometres in length and between 1946 and 1956, five locks were constructed along its route to allow the river to be navigated by boats. The urn system includes the lower and upper lock urn. In 1956, a hydropower station was built at Ballyshannon where water is drained from the urn to generate electricity. This is a renewable supply of energy. The Shannon Urn Waterway links the River Shannon at Leitrim Village with the urn system at Bilturbid County Cavan. Similar to the Lower Ban, to enable boats to navigate this waterway, locks have been constructed. In total, there are 16 locks that boats must pass through while navigating this waterway. The River Shannon is the longest river in Ireland and its route takes it over 215 kilometres. Similar to the urn system, there is a hydropower station located at Ardna Crusha in County Clare, making renewable energy. The River Barrow is the second longest river in Ireland and it is one of the Three Sisters rivers. Pause the video and discuss with your class if you know the remaining two rivers that make up the Three Sisters. Well, how did you get on? The three sister rivers are the River Barrow, the River Shore and the River Nore. All enter the sea at Waterford Harbour. Let's remind ourselves, Waterways Ireland manages over 1,000 kilometres of waterways that can be navigated by boat, including the Lower Ban, the Urn System, the Shannon Urn Waterway, the Shannon and the Barrow Navigation. These waterways are all natural features in Ireland, but Waterways Ireland also manage water navigation systems built by people. Pause this video. As a class, can you identify what waterway was built by people in Ireland? Well, did you know that Waterways Ireland are responsible for the management of our canals? There are three canals under the management of Waterways Ireland. These are the Ulster Canal, the Royal Canal, and the Grand Canal. These are the banks of the Grand Canal at Monast Revan in County Kildare. It's over 200 years old. It's estimated 8,000 people were involved in building the Grand Canal and it was built as a navigation system for both people and goods. Rivers are natural features in Ireland. They have a start point, they have an end point and features in between. Okay, so this was my attempt at drawing some of the features you can find along a river. You will see on the screen five questions. I would like you to take time now to draw your own river and answer the questions on the screen, including what is the start of a river called? What is created when there is a change in height along the course of a river? What is a bend in the river called? What is the name of the lake created when a bend in the river is cut off? And what is the place where the river enters the sea or lake called? Pause the video now. Well, how did you get on? Did you find out that the start of a river is called the source? A change in height along a course of a river is known as a waterfall. A bend in the river is called a meander. And when a meander gets cut off, it's known as an oxbow lake. And at the point at which a river either enters a lake or the sea, it's known as the mouth of the river. 
The source of many rivers in Ireland begin in upland areas. They start off fast flowing and narrow. This waterfall in Donegal was created when there was a change in height along the course of the river. After meandering through the Irish countryside, by the time a river reaches our towns and cities, it is often wide and several smaller rivers called tributaries have connected with it. The river banks are lined with trees and other wetland plants that are habitat for a variety of animals and birds. It is moving towards its mouth, its final point. While the features along a river may be natural, the canal offers many man-made features, including locks. I mentioned these earlier. Do you know what the purpose of a lock is? Pause the video and discuss with your class what you think they are used for. I'm hoping you suggested locks are designed to allow passage of boats along a waterway when there is a change in height. Remember a lock can be found on a river too. 16 locks were constructed along the Shannon Urn system. Yes, this is a bridge, however its main purpose is not to carry people or vehicles. Pause the video and discuss with your class what this bridge carries over the waterway below. This bridge was called an aqueduct and its role is to carry the canal over another waterway. It's time for an activity. So far we know the different waterways that Waterways Ireland manages and we know some of the features found along them. But Ireland's waterways are also a habitat, a home for a variety of plants and animals. To help us identify them, let's make our own waterway eco-dial. They're easy to make. You will be given three A4 pages with your dial template. Cut each template from the A4 page provided. The two circles with the images of plants and animals should be glued back to back. Don't put any glue to the two smaller cutouts. You will need a butterfly clip or a paper clip to secure these in the centre on either side of your eco dial. Pause the video while you make your waterways eco dial. By no means could we explore all the wildlife found along our local waterways today. So I've selected seven for you to identify using your eco dial. Use the numbers and record the different names of the wildflowers, birds and invertebrates that you can find here. Pause the video while you do this. OK, let's do one more. Can you name this butterfly found along our waterways? Again, use your equidial and pause the video. Learning about the variety of wild plants and animals along our waterways is a lifelong learning process. Today we started with just eight, but now that you have the waterway eco dial, your discovery does not have to stop here. But for now, what did we identify? Of course, swans are well-known birds along our waterways. Did you know a baby swan was called a cygnet? The grey heron is one of the largest birds we can come across in our local area, and its wingspan is almost two metres. Did you know that the four-spotted chaser spends most of its life underwater? I will show you what they look like in a few moments. Great willow herb and dandelions, tufted vetch, are some of the wildlife that bring colour to our communities and are really important sources of nectar for butterflies and bees, just like the small tortoiseshell butterfly I showed you. We've explored plants and animals we can see, but what about what is hidden underwater? Yes, fish, but they have to eat something and they enjoy a tasty meal of freshwater mini beasts. These are also referred to as an invertebrate, an animal without a backbone. So what can we find under the waterways? Did you know dragonfly babies are called nymphs and they live for three years underwater before becoming the darting dragonflies above our waterways? The greater water boatman and great diving beetles actually breathe the same air we do by storing air around their bodies. Well everyone, I hope you've enjoyed learning about Ireland's waterways. There's lots more to learn, this was just a start. Waterways are important for many different reasons. People use them for business and leisure, anglers love to fish along their banks, but for me, I'm going to enjoy my waterway with my new eco dial and discover some more of the plants and animals that call Ireland's waterways their home. Why don't you organise a class trip and discover more about your local waterway? But for now, it's farewell from me because it looks like it's going to rain, so I better get started on this walk. Bye everyone!